Hey my friends, Rianne here to give you your decorating tip of the day. Staging behind the scenes on location. Okay, in the ideal scenario, you've got your contracts in place by now, you've got your down payments in, or at least they're on the way, and you've got your items purchased ready to go and in your multiple locations, you're starting to stage on the spot. How do you do this? I ask my property managers if there is a storage room or if there's an empty suite that has climate control, um, security, make sure things are locked up. And generally it works out pretty good that at least half of my clients allow us to do this, especially if they don't own their Christmas decor and we're bringing it in from the outside. If they have it on the scenes, great, but hopefully you have space to work. So an empty suite is ideal because uh, you have electricity, you have everything you need and it's secure. So what I did here, I took a 12 foot tree and we've divided it in half. Remember, anything that you stage behind the scenes needs to fit through the door. So you don't wanna decorate the whole thing unless it's slim enough to fit through the door. You have some sort of double doors that will allow you to move things through. We have one property, we have big double doors where we can actually stage an 18, 17, 18 foot tree and move it on into place. It's great. All of that is such a great stress reliever, time saver, good for you easy on your crew, it sure makes installs go a lot more smoothly and you've done all the work ahead of time. You want to check electricity, lights, you want to make sure you have all your cords, your uh, surge protectors, all of that is on location. It's tagged with shipping tags or your little sharpie marked with some sort of an identification on the box. See like this, we can put a colored sheet with the date, location, whatever the, the particular project is um, on the site for that day for install, we know ahead of time everything's organized. I put a project manager on the scene, she knows everything that's going on in here besides me. So if I have to be somewhere else in the city, she's already got it going on, or he, whoever's your project manager. Now what we did here was take a 12 foot tree, we divided it up, what we could fit through the door pre-decorated. So we did the top, two sections of the tree, we put it on the bottom stand for the Christmas tree, we have a piece of plywood with wheels that we actually made and we zip tied it into place. Oh, is that ever nice to have done? Because then when it comes to the install day, we can take the bottom of the tree, we can get it into place downstairs on a separate stand, or we can even take this one off of the stand, this section of the tree, and we can drop the bottom in and then we can hoist the top on to the, to the pole. So it's set to go. Then you have your top of your tree done and then you can finish the bottom and it's fraction of the time that it would take is if you were starting from scratch. You don't want to be showing up on the scene just checking electricity, just checking your lights, just getting into your ornaments. You want all that done ahead of time. Even if you do it off-site and move it on the scenes, it's good to have as much done as you can way, way ahead. Big stress reliever. And I also think it's good to stage and get things prepared for installs in the same location if possible. Since we have multiple buildings in this one particular project here, we put everything in this one area and then we have it all ready to go marked set for the actual November install date. So you can see there's other items here unrelated to that particular down there. Big, big tip that I just gave you there that will really help relieve the franticness of November. It'll make things go much more smoothly and your crew will love you for the organization. If you got any questions, email me, get me on the comments, check me on my website, and I look forward to seeing how I can serve you.